Okay, and welcome back. I'm going to work on some factoring problems here. So, what we're going to have to do here is look for uh, variables or numbers that we can factor out that we're going to put outside of a set of parentheses. So, in this case here, you have an x, okay, which is common in both side, both terms, basically. This is one term. Here's another term. Terms are always separated with a plus or minus sign. Okay, so when you're factoring out an x, basically what you're going to end up doing in your head is kind of dividing by x here and here, which leaves you a and a b. So a plus b. Okay? Same problem. All I'm doing is I'm putting a 2 and a 4 over here. So common factors are going to be x again, but this time I have a 2 and a 4. So 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 4 two times, so definitely 2 works in both cases and in both terms here. Okay, so I'm going to have a 2, and we already established the x, so again, 2x gets factored out, and you set up your parentheses, and basically divide both sides by that 2x. So this cancels with that, this cancels with that, this cancels with that, this goes in two times. And you're left with an A, a 2 here, and a B. So A plus 2B. Okay, so here, let's see, we've got a 2 and a 4, so we can, so we can take out a 2. Um, a here, B here doesn't work. X squared, X, okay, so lower degree. You're looking at the, since you have two, um, you have a factor of X in both sides here, in both terms, you want to factor out the, the lowest degree. So in this case, your X, so you can factor out an X. So set up your parentheses, and you're basically dividing both, uh, both sides, both terms, by 2X. So this 2 cancels with that 2. You're left with an A. This X cancels with this. One time you're left with an X. This 2 goes into the 4 two times. X goes into the X. And you're left with uh, X, AX, plus 2B. Okay. And for this one, the only thing that really works is going to be a... 4 here and here. Okay, so what you want to do is factor out a 4. Now let's see, a squared, a, okay, you can factor out an a, that's the lowest degree. b squared and b squared, you can factor out a b squared. Set up your parentheses, and you're basically dividing both sides by 4ab squared, 4ab squared. 4 goes into 12 three times b squared goes into b squared, a goes into a squared one time, so you got a 3 and a, 4 goes into here four times, a cancels with the a, b squared with the b squared, so you have 3a plus 4, so 3a plus 4. Alright, for this one, uh, a 4 works, and so does, well you got an x cubed and an x, so and you have a y squared and a y, so you can actually take out a 4xy. Okay, these are the lowest. This x here has a degree of 1, so that degree is less than this one, so you would take that out. This y has a degree of 1, so that's less than the 2, so you take the y out. And since we already established 4 as a common factor, you're going to factor out a 4, an x, and a y. And in this case here, you're like dividing by 4xy. So this becomes a 1. Minus sign will stay. This, this goes 3 times x squared x, or y rather. Okay, so 3x squared y. So 3x squared y. Alright, for this one here, I want my leading coefficient um, to be a positive number and I want it to be 1 as well if possible and it's great because this one has 5 here, a 5 here, and a 5 here. Okay, 
So let's factor out a negative 5. Okay, set up my parentheses. And what we're going to do is move everything up a little bit because it looks like we're running out of space here. Okay, so let's do this. We can factor out a 5, negative 5. We can't factor out an x because if we did, there would be an x here if we redistributed it. So basically we're going to factor factor out a negative 5, so negative 5, negative 5, negative 5, this cancels with that, this cancels with this, and this turns into a negative sign, this becomes positive, oops, that becomes positive, 5 goes into 5, so you're left with x squared minus x plus this all becomes a big one right here. Okay, so let's write that down. X squared minus X plus one. Okay, for this one, let's do this. You can factor out, well, X squared X, lower degree, so you factor out an X. 50 and 25, well, 25 works, so let's factor out a 25X set up your parentheses so you can divide by 25x 25x this goes into here one time this goes into here two times so you got a 2x keep the minus sign this turns into a 1 so you get 2x minus 1 okay for this one here well you can factor out a negative sign and when I do that, these will become positive, and I can factor out a 3, and x in both terms, y in 1, so if x is in both terms, you choose a lower degree, so that's going to be x here, so negative 3x, set up my parentheses, divide both sides by negative 3x, negative 3x, this becomes a big 1. This cancels, turns into positive, 3 goes into 6, 2 x goes into x squared x times and you're left with a y and x and a 2 so plus 2 x y plus 2 x y okay for this one here again we can factor out a negative sign you can factor out what's in common with 18 and 3 would be a 3 and you can factor out let me see you got an a squared and a lower degree is a so negative 3a set up your parentheses basically divide by negative 3a negative 3a this cancels positively and this goes into here six times this goes into here eight times so positive 6a and this goes into here positive and this goes in once and a goes with the a and you know for the b squared so 6a so basically a positive 6a plus 6a plus well everything cancel except for the b squared so b squared okay and the last problem is this well let me see m m cubed over here m cubed there's a lower degree so that comes out m n cubed and an n n is a lower degree so just n and basically you're dividing by m, n, m, n. m cancels, this goes two times. n cancels, this goes m squared times. And you have n squared minus m squared. So n squared minus m squared. And you have difference of squares, so that's m, n times n minus m times n plus m. Okay, so I hope this helped, and be sure to check out the other videos, and thanks for watching.